Hey, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my Thread Up haul. Yes, that's right. Thread Up is an online consignment store with lots of wonderful designer brands, and I've been shopping at Thread Up for about the past year and a half. It is absolutely wonderful. And in our second half, it's especially important to make our money go as far as possible, and Thread Up is one of the ways I do that. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things great in your second half, I hope you'll subscribe and hit that little bell to be notified of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would be great. First, about a week ago, I got a haul in from ThreadUp and I'll be showing you all the items in a little fashion show. This is the packaging that comes in from ThreadUp. Very, very cute. And inside, all of the clothes are wrapped in tissue paper, so it's really, really a very nice little package. And before I get into showing you the clothes, I'll take you to the ThreadUp website and point out some important things there. This is a look at ThreadUp.com. And as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, there is free shipping on orders over $79 and also easy returns. And I will point out about the returns. You just go online, click the items you want to return and return them in the same box or parcel that you got them in. And the returns are totally free if you'll take your refund as an online credit, which I always do. And then once you're at the site, you choose women's and then clothing. And there you can choose your category. In this case, I chose tops. And then you can choose the style to narrow it down further. I chose strapless and halters. And the reason I did that is because in the summer, I'm always looking for things to wear on my YouTube channel. And I don't really want to go to Nordstrom and pay $80 and chance the fact that down the road, I won't like it. I like paying from nine to $19, which is what I paid for each of the items I'm going to show you. And it's important on the website to narrow it down still further. And one way you can do that is by selecting the brands that you want. And that's really nice because if you know the sizes that you wear in those brands, it's super easy. And then the last thing is to choose the condition. And I always check new with tags or like new. Since these clothes are consignment, I just want them as new as possible. And this is one of the shirts that I just got in from ThreadUp. And I'll show you there a little modeling show of it. And I will say I still have the tag on it. And I'll go ahead and cut that off. And I paid $19 for this shirt, but it still had the tags on and it is a Michael Kors shirt, and the suggested retail was $69.50. So as you can see, I would have spent like $75 plus tax on this, and instead I spent $19, and I really, really like it. Now, the next shirt I'll be showing you is from Banana Republic, and it is in the season's hottest color, which is yellow, and it has a little tie in the front, and the bow ties are very big. It's kind of a return to the 80s, and it's just a really simple little shirt that you can easily throw on with jeans or shorts. Now, the next shirt I'll be showing you is this very colorful shirt here, and it is in a polyester material, and it does not wrinkle, which is absolutely wonderful. The manufacturers are very aware of the fact that we always like black to be one of our colors, because all of us have a closet full of black shorts, black pants, everything black, so this works wonderfully with that. It has a little hip length waistband, which you can wear up or down. Now, the next shirt is just a little Jennifer Lopez shirt. And as you can see, it's again, very, very bright colors, which I truly love. And it has this wonderful little gold detail right under the neck there, gives it a little bit of clothing jewelry. It is the halter top style, which I really do enjoy in the summer. And again, it has the signature black and a little bit of that great yellow. Now, the next two shirts I'll be showing you are both from White House Black Market. And as you know, these shirts retail for around $59. It's just a little simple summer shirt. And again, it's polyester, which makes it truly easy care, no iron. It has a little flap in the front, nice little high neck. And again, the halter back. And the fact that it's black and white makes it truly easy to blend with your existing wardrobe. And this is another White House Black Market shirt that was $13. And of course, it appears brand new as all of the clothes I purchased do. It's just a great little black and white print. But then on the little ties here, it has some fuchsia accents and it has the same fuchsia accent pattern on the waistband that goes at your hip. I guess it wouldn't be a waistband. I guess it would be a hip band. I do like that it's black and white because it makes it very versatile, but I love this little extra pop of fuchsia. Now this next top is from Ann Taylor Loft and it is navy blue. I don't know if you can see that, but I've already worn this in a video and I wore it to work yesterday. It's jeans day on Friday. So this blue makes it blend very well with jeans but it is blue and white with a little pop of yellow all over. And it has the little pop of extra sleeve over here, which I really like because it gives it a more covered up look. I like it that it's kind of flowy and free, the perfect summer top. 
Now I wasn't totally sure when I ordered this one because it is super, super bold and it's almost a chiffon overlay here, which is kind of interesting. I wasn't sure what I think, but I really do like it. I also like the fact that it is a longer length, so it covers up our hips and thighs, which let's face it, girls, there are some days when we want those puppies covered. And I also like that it's a very bold print. I can see this at a wonderful summer party. Now my last shirt is by the designer Kenneth Cole and it was only $9 and it is in totally brand new condition. In fact, all of these, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I were trying them on in a dressing room because they all seem new, but I really like the black and white material and this little bit of animal print. I'm a sucker for animal print. And again, it has the fuchsia and it is kind of divided here in the front, but it does cover you up enough, which is nice. It gives you a little bit of an open feel here, but then it is covered. And there it is in the back, just an absolutely lovely, simple summer shirt. Well, that was a look at my most recent thread up haul and it will not be my last, I'm sure. And in the description box below the video, I have a code so you can get $10 off your first purchase. It's a refer a friend code, which is wonderful because I get $10 in merchandise and so do you. And once you join thread up, you can refer your friends and get $10 off too. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things for our second half, including well-priced clothes, then I hope you subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you notification of my future videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from the Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein, dropped one there. Let's see what positive thought we can think about for today. Ooh, this is a good one. Obsessing over the outcome of a relationship gets in the way. Instead, I let go and allow. Obsessing over the outcome of a relationship gets in the way. Instead, I let go and allow. Friends, I absolutely love this card, and as those of you who have watched my channel know, I have this tendency to kind of jump into my children's lives and, and try to help them with things like relationships, and you know, I've realized that is crazy. Both of my boys are young men. They are 36 and 31, so it is time to let go. And I realized that I was not able to let go until I thought they were in better hands than my hands. And to me, that is God. But the important thing is to realize that we are not ultimately in control of other people's lives. The only thing we can control is our own life. And so what I do when I start to obsess over like my son's relationship with his girlfriend, as I do sometimes, because I would love them to get married because I think she's wonderful, but that is my opinion and it's really none of my business. What I do when I start to get obsessed with a relationship, I say, God, I know you have that relationship in your hands, your capable, wonderful hands. I know you'll take care of both parties to the best of everyone concerned. And so Lord, I give it to you. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.